Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new way to instantly reset a dungeon solo. If you want to benefit from the legendaries and unique items, I would highly recommend doing this on tier 4 or tier 3. Now, is it possible to pick up legendaries on world tier 2? For sure, you absolutely will be able to do this and benefit from this method in today's video. First and foremost, what we need to do is locate a dungeon, or specifically this right here, which is the quest dungeon. You can find this over here towards the right side of Fractured Peaks. It's not too far from Kiovashad, which is pretty nice. You can just ride on over here and find this specific spot. If you go over towards the left side here, you will notice that you're at the Bear Tribe Refuge. Now, once you are here, you will notice that there's three different side quests, one on the bottom, one towards the top, and then one towards the top left here. You do want to complete each quest. Then from there, you will receive one more. And so when it comes down to completing these side quests, it's fairly easy. You do want to complete one dungeon the other one you need to go halfway to pick up an item and then the third quest you will need to head over here towards the top region find this boss right here defeat him and then you're good to go once you have completed all of the side quests you will receive a fourth one this fourth one you do not want to complete at all so just keep the quest till the very end it's going to then send you up here towards this dungeon right here which is only available during this specific side quest Again, you can only pick this up, which is going to be the Call of Ancient side quest, which is only available after completing the first three side quests. Now, once you are inside, what you will notice here, if you have not done this before, is that you're going to see quite a few enemies, including a crap ton of elites. And I mean, these elites are packing a lot of loot. Now, you might be wondering, how much loot is there really? Well, considering that I was able to take out a few elites that dropped three different legendaries back to back, I actually have clips of this so I'm not just saying that out of nowhere. I will have sort of like a montage there at the end of how much legendaries were able to drop. This is a great location, again because of the elites and the champions. There's chances of these flawless diamonds and the groups are pretty compacted as you can tell right here. There are some things that I would like to mention is that first and foremost is this going to replace your XP farming for Nightmare Dungeons? Absolutely not. Is this going to be a better method instead of going to Nightmare Dungeons to farm for legendary specifically? Absolutely. This is probably one of the best dungeons that you can farm right now. If you're on World Tier 2, you are going to benefit from the XP, yet if you're on World Tier 3 or World Tier 4, you might as well just farm Nightmare Dungeons for those specific XP benefits. Now, for this right here, you do want to complete a good portion of the map. Just do not complete the last part, which is the boss. You're going to exit outside of the dungeon by assigning this to your emo wheel. There is obviously another option where you can open up the map, click on the dungeon stair steps, and you can exit out that way. So now that I'm outside of the dungeon, I'm going to pause the game and leave. Do not exit Diablo 4, just leave the game. You will be at the character selection screen. You do want to click start game. You obviously will be already on your character, so you do not need to worry about clicking on it again. What this is going to do is absolutely skip the two minute wait time that you typically would have to do in order to reset a dungeon. This is a great way because what we are going to be doing here is benefiting from the legendaries and the potential unique items that can drop. I'm now back in the game, so I'm going to then click on the dungeon, and what do you know? Everything has completely reset. So I can just rinse and repeat this as much as I like, which is what I've done in today's video. You're going to see three different legendaries pop up. What's great about this side quest dungeon specifically is that I've noticed that there's a higher chance for rings and amulets to drop. This is pretty good because if you're looking for those ultra rare unique items, then this dungeon is for you because because of those higher chances of rings dropping. I highly recommend giving this dungeon a chance, at least farming it three times to see the benefits. For example, right here, one legendary just dropped, and then here in about, I don't know, five to 10 seconds, you're going to see two more legendaries pop up. This is not the only incident, right? I have more clips of this in similar situations. And what do you know? Another legendary. Guess what? A third one is going to pop up. If you're wondering how is this possible, it's because of how many elites are within this specific dungeon. This is probably the best side quest dungeon that you can actually utilize and instantly reset this dungeon so that you can pretty much benefit from this as much as you like. 
If you take a look at my inventory here, this is from just farming it previously. There's a lot that you can farm. I mean, the power level is pretty good. I was able to pick up a level 800 ring, which is phenomenal. I was not even able to do that on a Helltides event. So do I believe this is better than Helltides event? Absolutely. I 100% believe it is. You can see that a legendary has popped up. And again, there's going to be more that pops up here shortly. This is by far one of the best side quest dungeons, again, that you could possibly use. If you're wondering how much XP you can acquire from this, if you're on world tier 4, it's about half a million, which is why I mentioned earlier this is probably not the best thing to farm if you are on world tier 3 or world tier 4 because you have nightmare dungeons and the additional XP. If you're on world tier 2, you of course can just simply go into this dungeon and benefit from the XP and the legendaries. And for the rest of the clips here, you might be thinking, oh, he probably dropped that legendary and now he's just showing that he's able to grab more. No, that's not even the case because if you take a look at the top right screen for the map there, there's going to be a star icon. Even if I were to drop a legendary, there would be no star icon. Now, of course, the only way a icon like that pops up is if it did drop drop from an enemy and this absolutely did now you might be thinking is this possible to do this in sellers like we've done previously to pick up a crap ton of obol yeah it absolutely does we obviously are going to rinse and repeat the same exact steps from earlier we are going to interact with the seller we want to go inside complete the events and then from there what you're going to do is then exit outside of the dungeon or in this case it's going to be a seller we want to exit outside then from there leave the game join back in then it should be reset and there you go this is how you are able to benefit from legendary specifically and not only that instantly restarted dungeon after patch this of course will skip the whole two minute wait time that you would have to do prior instead what you can do is instantly restart the dungeon and farm for legendary specifically again this is not a xp farm although it can be if you're on world tier 2 which is why i titled it both in today's video and so that's pretty much it thank you to everyone that has currently subscribed and is currently a member if you want to subscribe it's absolutely free and if you click on the notification icon and then go to the top and make sure that you're notified for all this way you're notified every time i upload a video if you have any questions absolutely send it down below in the comments section and I will try to answer it. Other than that, thank you again and I'll see you all in the next video.